Hello, we are here in my office and it is the month of November. And in the month of November, as Catholics, we have a special devotion to the souls in purgatory, all of our beloved dead and our family members and our friends who have passed away. And as Catholics, we pray for them. We ask that the Lord wash them of their sins and lead them to their eternal home in heaven. And it's interesting, just a, I don't know, a couple months ago, I went to the cemetery where my grandparents are buried. I'm talking about my mom's parents. She grew up outside of Toledo, Ohio, and my grandparents are buried in this enormous cemetery, this huge cemetery in Toledo. And I remember my grandfather's passing. His name was Hubert, and I, I have fond memories of him. He passed away in 1994, more than 25 years ago. It's hard for me to imagine that, but uh, I went to visit his grave, and, and my grandmother, uh, they're buried together. She passed away in 1984, so I don't have too many memories. In fact, I, I, I don't have any recollection of my mom's mom, but I went with my my mom's brother, um, my my uncle and his wife, uh, and and we went to the cemetery and we offered some prayers. And I, to my shame, I don't recall really ever visiting my grandparents' gravesite. It, the last time I was there was probably back in in 1994, and it was so moving for me just to be there and to um, yeah say some prayers and just to thank my grandparents for giving the world the gift of my mom. So uh, I don't know, I, I just share that with you because again, it's, it's November and this is kind of what we do as Catholics is remember the past generations and to, to pray for them and, and to thank them and, and if possible to, to visit a cemetery. I wanna encourage you to do that during this month of November. If you're not close to a cemetery where you have loved ones, um, it's okay just to visit a Catholic cemetery nearby. Here in Columbus, we have a few Catholic cemeteries, and they're, they're beautiful. Beautiful place to, to visit and reflect and to pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. So uh, let's um, consider our beloved dead and, and stir up our love for them. Maybe to conclude, conclude this brief reflection for this month of November, uh, I'm going to read this brief um, verse from actually this weekend's Mass, the second reading. This is from uh, the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. St. Paul says, We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. It's, it's true. Um, we believe that those who have fallen asleep in God's mercy, who have ended their lives here on earth, will be led by Christ to their home in heaven.